Hey, I'm David Ridge Jr. Welcome. And if you're watching this, you're going to see the five mind blowing, I had to write them down, jaw dropping silver bullets from the first week of the One Funnel Away Challenge. Now, listen, I know I'm not the first person to do this challenge, but any stretch of the imagination. Matter of fact, they've got to the point where uh, none of it's live that they're doing. Well, they actually have some coaching sessions that I've seen live, but the stuff that uh, Stephen did live is no longer live. But anyway, uh, so here, before I get to those, what I want to offer you is a free access to a membership area that I'm putting together because I'm going to just document this whole journey and 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 give you the pitfalls, the the things that don't work, the stuff that I am using that does work, some some tools, some resources, and strategies and tactics that I'm using as, as a result of this one funnel away challenge in a free membership area. So click the link below so you can take advantage of that. I want to give that to you. It's part of the whole idea behind the challenge. So grab it and take advantage of it. And so here are the, here's the here's where I am. I'll give you a quick uh, backstory on this. Uh, I wanted to figure out how to get some uh, some strategies and tactics online. The new economy, right? We're in a new economy. Try and get someone on the phone for any sales measure these days. I don't care what it is that you have to sell. If you're going to sell, uh, I don't, really, I don't care what it is, unless you're calling a business. And even then, trying to get someone uh, on the phone is, is uh, I mean, you're going to go through some calls. Let's put it that way. And so I wanted to take advantage of, some, uh, of the new economy where uh, more of the interaction is going to be set up. And it's going to be based on uh, people coming uh, and attracting people rather than chasing them down with because uh, because of some expertise and some demonstrated authority. And so that's where I came from because, uh, you know, I uh, transitioned from uh, one profession to another uh, that was changing and had evolved to the point where it was no longer feasible. It was no longer uh, anything that, it, that was going to provide for my family and me in the way that it was. And I had to adapt and change um, but couldn't figure out how to do it quick enough. So I kind of completely did a almost a 180 in, in, in terms of a profession. And, and at the same time, still wanted to figure out how to apply some of the new economy strategies to this business. And so that's why I jumped into this um, uh, one funnel away challenge. Now I'll give you some more uh, little tidbits about that. Um, I had even considered uh, just being an employee again. And and it's funny because I had said over the course of uh, a long time that I was unemployable. Um, but I got, had got to the point where it was, it was kind of um, uh, a do or die, really, because uh, things were closing. <laughs> it was just a matter. Of, I had to do something. And <clears throat> The interesting thing about it is, uh, I mean, I'm 50, right? As I sit here, right? I just turned 50, and uh, try and get a job as a 50 year old. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't. I, mean, I didn't think it was uh, a thing, but I think age discrimination. Not that I'm blaming or you know uh, pointing fingers or anything like that. I'm not, and not, I'm not that in that kind of a mindset. I mean, I'm, a, I'm right now. I'm grateful because. Um, <clears throat> We are where we are, right? We get to choose the perspective that we pick. But uh, in wanting some jobs, um, I, I don't know. I think uh, some uh, less seasoned people may have been picked in some of the spots that, uh, that uh, uh, I was applying for, which, again, it's a good thing. But, I mean, here I am you know, 50 years old, you know, looking for a job and uh, after having had a business that um, uh, was, you know, good. And, uh, you know, you just start to uh, have some have some doubts. So you get to pick, all right, woe is me, right? Or develop some resiliency, some character, resolve, and uh, determination to make things work. So that's, that's the picture. Uh, jumping into this one funnel away challenge. And some of the things that I came away from came are coming out, came away with in the first week. Uh, and I just jotted them down just so that I get has something to reference is in terms of the belief that, <clears throat> that it will work. I've seen some, some of the content uh, that has me to the point where, all right, maybe it won't work because I've tried a lot of different things in the past, but I'm going to give it a, give it a shot. 
uh, because it's different in the in the way that some of the other uh, strategies and tactics I've tried in the past because there's a constraint. And what I've learned over the years is that without a constraint, uh, a deadline, things are just going to get put off. And that's the unique thing about the challenge is it's 30 days. Uh, they say the content will go away. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Regardless, uh, it's kind of like uh, it's under the gun. You, you put the pressure on yourself and you take advantage of the time frame and the deadline and the pressure that results that you need to get things accomplished in that 30 days and things change. That's one of the things. It gives you uh, the, the resolve and the determination. There, there's no outs. There's no excuses. So you can either, you can, if you choose, maybe just re-enroll in another 30 days and take advantage of it, which is entire, entirely a possibility. But once you're in 30 days, uh, you're wasting time if you don't take advantage of that constraint and uh, utilize that. So uh, that kind of like, uh, that's that's the, one of the biggest ones is, uh, is in terms of one of the m biggest takeaways from it. The other one is not to get, uh, uh, discouraged by undesired results, failure, right? Embrace undesired results because they're the path to success. That's another takeaway. The, the third one, which is really cool, because I'm one of the guys that I'm, you know, it's it's like a, I don't know what it is. Uh, it, it, you think you can be Superman and do everything in certain situations, right? There are cases where, I mean, I know I can't do everything. You can't be in two places at once. But one of the main modules of the first week was who, not the how, right? Figure out who can help you do what you what needs done so that you can leverage your time on, and do the things that you are really good at. So who, not the how, that was the third big takeaway. Yeah, now, now another cool thing about it is that it demonstrated to me that there are some basic frameworks that work flat out, period. No questions about it. They work if you put them to work. And it's just a matter of you putting your spin, your creativity on and into the framework. For example, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. They all have a framework, right? They're all, uh, you know, Twitter. What is it? 260 characters. Instagram, just put up a, uh, a photo. And you get to put your comments and hashtags, Facebook, you've got your profile photo, uh, who you are, and your timeline. Uh, what was the other one? Um, whatever. I mean, you, they all, and, and click funnels for that matter, have a framework. So it has that in, in common with the social media platforms in that you can take and build uh, funnels and drive. Uh, the traffic through the funnels, but the, the whole thing, the whole common denominator is that they're based on a framework, but you get to put your creativity and your offers and your personality into the framework to help your offers and your profiles be who you are within that framework. So that's one of the other things that I came away with. But at the same time, you know, some of the frameworks that we're learning and going through, a lot of which, I mean, I've known, uh, known. You don't know anything until you apply it, right? Uh, it's like I, you can watch Ben Hogan swing a golf club, uh, but you don't know how to swing a golf club until you get out and swing a golf club, <laughs> right? You don't know how to bowl until you bowl. I mean, I don't bowl, but I mean, whatever. Um, you don't know how to uh, make a video like this until you, you know, all right, well, I got to get, I got to, I got to make a video, put the fear aside and just do it and see what happens and experiment, get the, get, get a result and, and then go, go from there. And then one of the last things is that you don't have to uh, like everything. I mean, there's, I'm, uh, there's one as particular aspect of the first week that I was just like, Oh God, I, I, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. And I didn't. I didn't. I didn't make it the whole way through part of the module, but I did take something out of it. I don't know. There was something that was that was in it that I was uh, actually kind of impressed with, which I should be because some of the demonstrated success and that was in within this one module uh, was astonishing. But in any case, you don't have to like everything, but if you can keep them an open mind and apply some of the things that are in there uh, without prejudice, 
uh, to taste, if you will, uh, you'll see some results. So those are the five things that I took away from the first week of the One Final Away Challenge. And like I said, I want, I, you know, one of the things I'm going to offer you to, to, to grab the link and take advantage of it yourself. But in the meantime, if you do, I'm going to give you um, access to the members area for free. And in addition, in addition to that, check out the page where, uh, you know, there's going to be some bonuses that I'm going to offer you to take advantage of the One Final Away Challenge for yourself. So go check that out. Click the link below. And while you're at it, subscribe. I'm going to uh, ask you to subscribe. And I'm, cause I'm going to, uh, like I said, document this journey and, and, and explain and, and document, there, there, use the word again, uh, some of the things that work, some of the things that don't, some of the things to avoid, and some of the tools and resources to use along with some of the uh, people that are pretty cool that go along with it. So, hey, I'm David Woods Jr. If you like this video, you're going to love some of the resources that I've put together. And I hope to see you again in the next video. See ya.